what's up everybody and welcome back so in this video we are going to take a look at anchors and pivots so uh, right here i have this scene set up canvas is set to constant pixel size and uh, we have these images so let's uh, focus on this image so if we zoom in you will see this uh, round icon here so this is the pivot it means this is the center of that image and now if you click on this uh, rack tool you will see not only this pivot but you will also see these four markers so these are the anchors okay so <clears throat> now uh, if we you know uh, scale our screen you can see that the black image disappears okay because uh, right now the anchors are set to center okay but we have changed we have changed this image from center to this bottom column so what anchor does so let me click on the image then click on the rect tool and we can you know drag these and put it on these corners here okay so what these anchors means now no matter what the screen size is this image should always be at exact position of the screen so let me go right here so now if we resize you can see the image is staying at the exact position because we have set it the anchors now you can see this image will be always at that position now uh, there are two cases so uh, you might be wondering that what is this distance do we have position x position y width and height okay so uh, let's so there are two cases actually one when the anchors are joined together and one when the anchors are separated so when i separate this you will see the value will the values will be changing so let's do that now when the anchors are separated and not joined together what this distance will tell you now these this left will tell you the distance between these anchors and the left so if i you know change it right here so this is now the left is telling us that the left side of the image the graphic has a distance of 14.5 from these anchors point okay now if we let's set the left to zero you will see now our left side is aligned with the left side of the anchor same with the top so on the top it's showing 7.3 it means that this top side has the distance of 7.3 from these anchors okay so if we set that to zero you can see now the left and top both are zero now the right and bottom so if we set right to zero you can see the distance is zero same if we set bottom to zero now the distance between the anchors and these points are zero now this is the first case so now when these anchors are joined together now then this will they will show you the distance between this pivot and the anchor okay so on the x axis the distance is 28.5 so from this pivot to that we have the distance of 28.5 so now we can also change the uh, position of the pivot by using these two value or we can simply drag it so now you can see the position of 
the position is indicating the uh, on the x-axis from these pivots uh, from these points to the pivot the distance is 47.11 okay now uh, the pivot value if we set it to 0 0.5 on both x and y axis this will be the center now if we set x to 0 so on the x axis you can see it is the value is 0 here so the uh, so the x 0 of x is at here at this point and 1 of x is at that point so if we set uh, 0 of y so 0 of y is here and 1 of y is at the top so if we you can see right here now uh, the pivot is a very useful when it comes to animating an object the pivot is very helpful so it is uh, important to understand this how it works so let's uh, set it to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 on both instances now if we i set this pivot to right here and if i uh, rotate the image will be rotating according to the pivot okay so let's put this pivot to 0 0.5 now if we rotate it will rotate around its center now another thing about the pivot is so when you let's say the scale when you scale the image so if i scale you can see it is scaling on all of the sides because a uh, pivot is the reference point so it will scale alongside by the pivot so because the center pivot is in the center so it will you know uh, grow at all sides so what if we change this pivot so we are going to click on the rec tool and if i change the pivot to this point and now if i scale you will see the image will grow this pivot will be the fixed point and it will grow all the other sides so let's put the pivot to that point and if we put it uh, right here now you can see it is scaling alongside with the pivot so let's put these anchors at the correct position and now the image will stay the same size and at the corner here okay so if i want this image to be always at this top point we have uh, some presets here so right now you can see it is getting the preset so if i click on it hold shift alt and click on that you will see the pivot is now shifted from this corner to that corner okay so that's it for this video guys and uh, i will see you in the next video